For this project, I was inspired by these vintage bottles that I found at a local antique store. They were only a dollar, so I picked up a bunch of them in all different sizes and shapes. Some were dirty, so I cleaned them with a bottle brush, which is really easy just on, in your sink. You can just rub out any, if there's any dirt or residue in the inside, but it doesn't need to be perfect because we are painting them. So to paint these bottles and create a really cool centerpiece, we are using a glass paint, a glossy glass paint, and to actually adhere the paint to the glass, we're gonna mix it with a gloss medium and spray it. And to do that, I'm gonna use this spray system. First, before I do anything else, I'm actually, look at, there's measurements on our bottle here, and we're gonna be doing an equal amount of gloss medium to an equal amount of glass paint. So I'm actually gonna start with the gloss medium. And I'm gonna do it to one ounce. So I'm just squirt it in here to one ounce. And now I'm just gonna add my glass paint. And I'm gonna do an ounce of this. So even parts. And once you have that now at two ounces, we're gonna shake it up and mix it. So we're basically just creating a um, watered down sort of paint that's gonna go through a spray system um, onto the bottles. So I'm just kind of mixing it up. That gloss medium uh, made the paint thinner in order for it to get through the um, spray bottle. So I think it's pretty mixed. Open it up, what a pretty color that is. So before you start spraying, you wanna make sure you've protected all your surfaces, the floor, your table, anything. You can do this inside because it is non-toxic. So it doesn't have any odor, which is really good compared to spray paint, which is normally normal paints. And this is also good because you can customize the paint color. So what I'm attaching here is the actual spray system. And it just connects right to that bottle that I just mixed the paint in. And I'm gonna pull off the cap. And you can see it just has this little nozzle here. Shake it up a little bit, give it a little test spray. See the paint is coming out, looking good. So what I'm gonna do is just take one of my bottles. This is a really neat, old, interesting shaped bottle. I'm not sure they make these anymore. And what I'm gonna do is one thin coat to start. And what I'm gonna do is hold the bottle at about a 45 degree angle maybe about 12 inches from the bottle and spray. And you can do one side like that and then with your finger in the top of the bottle, rotate. And keep rotating till you've covered all the sides. And your last section here. You just wanna put this aside, let it dry, and you're going to do about three coats. So in between each coat, letting it dry. So now I wanna show you a, a cool way to make your bottles all look good together and not do them all in one color. So once I had my bottle all covered, three coats, I'm just gonna take off my spray system and I'm adding a white gloss paint. And what I'm gonna do is just squirt three drops, four drops in there. It doesn't have to be measured, doesn't need to be perfect. So what we're doing is just basically light, making the shade a little lighter. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my gloss medium. And then put the cap on, shake it up. Make sure that all that paint is thinned out. And then I can reattach my spray system. And before I continue to spray, you wanna make sure you spray out the darker color that you used before. 
And then you can do your second bottle. And you just want to do the same thing as the last one, one thin beginning coat. Rotating it by sticking my finger in, that t in the tops of the jar. So you can actually use jars and bottles. I'm gonna put that aside, let that dry for 20 minutes, come back, do, spray it once more, let it dry, come back, do a third coat so it's completely coated. And then keep adding white paint to your mixture to bring the color down even more. So once you've done your three coats on that and you add more white, you'll wind up with a collection of bottles that look similar to these. Dark and light. Mix them together and you will have a really nice centerpiece.